in Massachusetts, an apparently angry resident yells at a backhoe operator hired to finish up a demolition near her house. I'm sorry? My entire house is shaking. I had a glass fall off of a shelf from the vibration. Uh, sorry. The is there any, a better way to do this? No. It's so I, I know, I'm sorry. I'll try to... I need somebody that I can contact. Who? Whoever's in charge. I am. Well, then, I need to make a formal complaint against your company. All right. You have a business card. No, I don't. The worker's utter lack of defensiveness causes the woman to go even more on the offensive. Where do you live? I'd like to come to your place. I live in Swampscott. And a quarter to seven. I live in Swampscott. Quarter to seven. Isn't there some type of a, a, a ordinance that says you can't start that early? Yeah, it's seven o'clock. It was before seven. It was like five minutes. No, I looked at my clock. All right. It was like 20 minutes to seven. It won't happen again. Despite his confessed bending of the rules, the workers' simple replies do seem to de-escalate the situation enough to convince the resident to walk away. Have a good one. No, it's starting off really f***ing the first day I got off, and I can't even tell you how long. I'm sorry. Though he handled it well, hopefully next time he'll allow himself and everyone else just a bit more sleep before digging in for the day. My entire house is shaking. I had a glass fall off of a shelf from the vibration. For any employee, having a specific plan in the event of a robbery is paramount to their safety. And there's perhaps no better example of that preparedness than this. As a customer waits to be rung up at a cell phone store in Houston, Texas, a man enters and heads directly behind the counter. Hey! It's a robbery, and the man is armed. But the employees remain calm and know exactly what to do. They wave the customer and her child safely outside. Then, lock the man inside the shop. He grabs some merchandise, but immediately realizes he has nowhere to go. After a quick search of the store, it becomes apparent that the front door is the man's only possible means of escape. So he takes a drastic measure. It does no good. After several minutes of trying to escape, he's left with only one option. But his pleading has no effect. And just minutes later, The 22-year-old man is arrested and eventually pleads guilty to aggravated robbery with a deadly weapon. He is sentenced to five years in prison. Thanks to the cool-headed employees, no one is injured or worse. In La Puente, California, a man who rented his car to someone in the morning via a car sharing app has traced it to a bizarre location. 
that somebody's doing something to my car. According to the car's owner, the renter claimed that he just needed the car for a short trip. But now... Excuse me, sir. What are you doing to my car? It appears partially dismantled. What are you doing to my car? In a body shop. Uh, I'm testing something. You're testing something? Yeah. What are you testing? Uh, on the front bumper. The front bumper, which is currently off the car. And that's not all. Because it seems like you're replacing some stuff. Should I be worried? Should I be calling the cops? Or The man who rented the car calmly explains what he's doing. I'm just testing some, some parts. And the vehicle's owner calmly explains why he thinks that's wrong. Because I don't think this is allowed when you're renting out a car. You said it was for a trip. Yeah, I have a trip. I have gone, gone oh, sorry, to come back for a test fit. For what? For a test fit. Because I don't, you shouldn't be doing this, sir. Like, this is, this is against the rules and regulations of it. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't know that. This is my first time. But first time using the app or not, the car's owner is not taking any chances, enlisting his friend to call the police. I, I told her to call the cops. Okay. So I'm gonna have them come here to see what's going on. Um, I'm gonna want my car back today. Okay, I'll put it back. If not, it's At this be point, it seems like the man who rented the car, yeah. at the very least, is going to have a lot of explaining to do. Or you should have let me know, you know? You should at least let me know so I, I'm aware of what's going on. Uh, sorry. But that apparently doesn't end up being the case. According to the man filming, the police don't even come to the shop, claiming ignorance of the terms of use of the car sharing app and insisting the incident is a civil matter. As a result, the renter is not charged with any wrongdoing. Meanwhile, the car owner does get his car back though he claims it suffers from immediate system-related issues. So, the next time you're about to loan your stuff to a stranger for money, just make sure taking it apart piece by piece isn't part of the deal. What are you doing in my car? You asked why I'm here? Yeah, I did. What you mean? You're not allowed to eat here. I'm not allowed to eat here. The woman filming is a guest at this Georgia hotel. And according to her, this guest has been telling her she has to leave for some unknown reason. And now both of them no. I'm checking out. I'm a are heading toward a confrontation. <laughs> Get out of here. Ma'am. She can guess. I don't care. I can't put her out of here. Come on. The woman allegedly spits on the woman recording and pays a price. The woman's apology is too little, too late. And the lesson is pretty clear. If you don't like a guest at a particular hotel, <gasps> find yourself another place to stay. I have everybody watching this lady on the phone. She accused me of stealing her son's phone. This woman believes the man filming her stole her son's cell phone while they were shopping at a superstore in Moreno Valley, California. She started looking at me, and I know I'm black with tattoos, so she automatically assumes I had it. She says, location says, it's me. She runs up to me and says, excuse me, you have my son's phone? The woman claims that a phone locator app led her to the area around the man's car, while the man claims she followed him out of the store. What will happen when you're wrong? What happens? What do I get, just an apology? Sure. That's not good enough. No, we're staying here until you give me my phone because it I marks don't. that you're here. I don't have a phone. No. Ma'am, you're nope. really crazy. You're following yep. me now. Now I am. That's good. Because that, that phone a has A sorry is not money. good yes. enough. A, so no. a sorry person isn't well, good enough for me. Now a I sorry am accusing you. Feeling unsafe in the parking lot, the man decides to head back to the store. I'm definitely pressing charges. Arrest me, profile. When they walk through the door, 
An employee is waiting there with the woman's family, and both the accuser and the accused jump right into it. How you doing, ma'am? Call the police department. Hey, ma'am. Yeah, I'm here to see him. Hey, what's going on? He accused me of stealing a phone, ma'am. I have it, her accusing me on video. Mm -hmm. That's going to be when her. When we were in the parking lot, it was marking him, like, right there. What's happening? I can't. Suddenly, a break in the case. It should follow us, right? If I have the phone, right, it should follow us to the store. I am going to. The woman spots her son walking back into the store with the missing phone, exonerating the accused man. Her son found the phone. Her son found it in the car. Excuse me, do you have my son's phone? So now I'm going to press charges. Ma'am, may I have your name, please? May I have your name, please, ma'am? No. No? OK, that's OK. I'll get your license plate. Mm -hmm. The woman mutters a curse at the man, rather than make amends. No, okay, that's okay, I'll get your license plate. Leaving the store employee to offer the apology. Sorry about that. After his video is widely seen, the wrongly accused man gets contacted by a discrimination attorney. Whether he plans on suing the boy's mom is yet to be decided. What will happen when you're wrong? What do I get, just an apology? Sure. Video. I'm take a video. If you're yeah. gonna, if you're going to verbally harass me, then I'm hey, gonna take a video. But you were rude, and then I told you we're here to get food for my kids, and you're like, oh, you can, their kids can wait. There, there was a, an entire spot. No, I'm sorry, no. Y'all weren't pulled up to yeah, the Yeah, we were in here. Yes. Then as God as my witness. Then I wouldn't have really, room. You think it's funny? You think it's funny? This woman is accusing the man in the car of deliberately cutting in front of her at an Arkansas drive through I wouldn't have room to pull in front of you. Because you are being rude. That doesn't make sense. Being rude doesn't make sense? I wouldn't have had space being to Being rude pulling. doesn't make sense? No. Being rude doesn't make sense? But apparently, it's all starting to make sense to the woman. Are you from Ninian? I'm from Greenwood. <laughs> That's why. Okay. I'm born and raised in Van Buren. Maybe you should go to order in Greenwood. Okay. Okay. Have you ordered your food? Uh, I was waiting for him to get back to me. Oh, um, well, you know what? They're not going to get back to you. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> the woman utters a homophobic slur. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> But despite her nasty prediction. I'm so sorry about that. So you had an order for Alex? Yes, I had an order for Alex. The dutiful drive through employee does, in fact, calmly take care of the man filming. So if you can come whenever you can, we'll get that order for you. Awesome, thank you. So remember, if you're already in line, stay in line. And whatever you do, don't get out of line. Okay.